All right, guys, here we are with the 2009 Jeep Commander, and we got to get this dashboard out to swap it to black, but I also need to do the steering wheel. So here we go. This Commander is getting its very own steering wheel swap video. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and welcome to the project. I'm about to embark on a dashboard swap, but first I want to do a steering wheel video because we've got to get this thing out eventually. Uh, I'm going to swap this steering wheel to black to match the rest of the black interior. So I found one on eBay. It's going to be really cool. So here we go. We're going to take out this Commander steering wheel. This is a 2008, 9, 10 Commander, also similar years to the Grand Cherokee. The earlier Commander years actually have uh, a round steering wheel uh, airbag cover and uh, they got bolts in this. This is a little different style, so you might not know about it. So uh, here we go, let's dig in. There we go, guys. There are three little holes in the steering wheel. And if you could see right in the center of that hole, there is like a little metal bar. That is a clip, and that is what holds the airbag on. So I'm going to pop this up with a screwdriver. All right, very hard to see, but you can feel it if you have a screwdriver. This is a little guy, maybe like four or five inches. And I'm going to flick that little bar upwards and outwards. Now we can see. Let there be light. Pull it out a little bit so it doesn't clip back on you. One. Rotate this wheel. For number two. Got it. And three is all the way around. Woo! Round and round we go. Oh. All right, I got it. And that just reminded me we got to take out the battery or unplug the battery at least because this is an airbag and uh, I don't want this popping in my face so I'll just rest this here pop up the battery let it rest for a minute and then I'll unplug that safety first um can we put the bike or kudos to the stop sign yeah to the top hey. sign and go back all right it's been a good minute so I'm going to unclip this airbag now Pinch and pull, pinch and pull, there we go. Airbag is free from the vehicle. And now you can see these little hooks. These are what we were prying off. So yeah, easy peasy airbag. All right, before we go any further, we're gonna wanna unplug this clock spring. We do not wanna forget to unplug the clock spring because if you pull the steering wheel out and it's still plugged in, you may rip the clock spring to pieces. So there's just a tab right here, got that, and then this, we gotta make sure we just gently push this through as we remove the steering wheel, and uh, there we go, that will be, that will be it for the unplugging of the clock spring. Um, you know what, I'm gonna take out this cruise control while I have a nice, uh, nice access to it. We'll take off this cruise control lever, because I'm gonna have to put this back on. Um, you know what, before we go any further, let's just uh, let's take a look at the new steering wheel. Check out the steering wheel that I have to go in. We have a replacement Overland steering wheel with a wood grain trim, and this one is black. <laughs> nice and pretty, but it is stripped down, so we're gonna have to build it. And also, it's a little bit worn on the edges, a little discolored, so let's check out what I got to try to recondition this wheel. Dirt. Dirtles? We got some dirtles? We got some some doctor tools? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's a reconditioning balm, uh, black in color, and you could use it on couches, seats, steering wheels, leather jackets. Uh, yeah. So, oops, let's open it up. Doctor tools or dirtles. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, we got black balm, here we go. 
Uh, it comes with some glows, nice. A buffing pad, that's pretty cool. And an applicating pad, all right, whoops. A paint on brush. Uh, I think I get the idea of <laughs> how it's gonna work. Silly me, found the instructions, okay. Cool. All right, I don't know how permanent this stuff is, so I just taped off some of the chrome and the wood to prevent some over coloring. Wow, Ooh, that's dark liquid stuff right there, okay. And, yeah, it's painted on. There we go. While that wheel is drying, we're gonna continue the removal of this one. We got that one all nice and prepped. And we're just gonna take off these three Phillips head for the cruise control unit. And there we go, cruise control stalk is out. You know what, I'm gonna take out these guys right here and i'm gonna paint them because i never really cared for this silver this silver color doesn't really go anywhere in this jeep interior scheme except for uh this piece but th that's it uh so i'm gonna paint them now these i believe have little dollops of glue in here on the back all right so um just gotta shove a screwdriver in there break the glue bonds also i'm probably gonna need a pick this has a little tab uh, embedded in this steering wheel foam. This like the steering wheel is all a one-piece pressed unit of plastic, foam, and aluminum. So it's kind of neat the way it's engineered. But it's not like the old Cherokees. Here we go. I'm just gonna gently pry this back, but don't go too hard because there's another tab up here. So. Just gonna loosen up this. There's probably some glue in here. Now, be careful, don't stab your steering wheel. Just get right in here in the middle and push and pry in. There we go, you see that tab? There we go. Tab, I'll come back around here, get this tab out. There we go. Now that's how you do it. Beautiful. Tab's out, nothing's broken. These uh, menu buttons, they just clip right in. But uh, you know what, I think I need to reuse these anyway. So, we'll just unplug it. Push the button and pull, there we go. Oop, nah, got it. There we have it. Little tabs here to remove this. Tab, there. Buttons are out. I think I'm gonna sand this down and give it some paint. All right, steering wheel bolt is just 13 millimeter. You can zip it right out. Easy peasy. There we go. Remember what I said about that clock spring. We're gonna try to bump this steering wheel out and uh, we're gonna try not to pull this clock spring wire through because we don't want to break the clock spring. They are a pain to rewind <laughs> and uh, it's almost impossible. So there is no puller holes for this type of steering wheel. Just gotta, oh, there it is. Just like that. Pop that through and you got yourself a free wheel, baby. Yay. Yay. All right, guys, khaki wheel is out. Who wants a khaki overland steering wheel? It is for sale now. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna continue on with the dashboard video. We will reassemble and reinstall when that is complete. So I'll see you in a little while. 
All right, here we go. I got my two steering wheels side by side, and it's uh, a little blotchy, but uh, I think overall it's better than how it used to look. But these buttons are pretty ugly and pretty worn. Um, these are volume controls and radio controls. They just pop right out. So I got a little pick in there, and we're just going to work them out just like so. Pretty simple stuff. And I'm gonna reattach the plugs. Um, plug the new ones in. That's it, easy as pie. All right, got my steering wheel controls swapped over. Now we're gonna put the front and back together. I got the cruise control in already. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Here, I'm a new button holder thingies. <laughs> Trim pieces are looking sharp. Nice and painted black. Let's see if I could finagle this one-handed. There we go. So uh, these go in really easy. They just slide back into the holes from whence they came. Sucked right in. One and two. I guess you could put a dollop of glue on it like there was, but this thing will be so tight, it's not going anywhere. Buttons feel nice and tight. Let's clip in the other one. Yeah, one-handed on camera so you guys could get a good shot at it. If I could do it with one hand, you guys could do it with two. Nice and easy, simple Jeep work, just like building Legos. Buttons tight and fresh. Oh yeah, buddy. That's a nice restored steering wheel. Can't wait to get this in. Let's get a quick little preview of how this is supposed to be. Yeah, there we have it. All right, guys, my dashboard is all back together, so that means I am ready for the steering wheel. So, yeah, baby, here's the finished product. I got my airbag in the middle. Yep, so we'll just take that out. And here are my new painted side pieces. I think <laughs> side piece. I said it again. I uh, love the way the black looks. I was never a fan of the silver. And to match, I also got rid of the silver on the passenger dashboard piece. So I got matching black, matching black, a nice dyed black steering wheel, and all put back together. Got the cruise control buttons in. We got our menu buttons in, and we're ready to go slide this back in. Got the, this is a big 13 millimeter bolt and the steering column. I put that here so I didn't lose it. We're gonna put this right in our nicely installed dash tray. And we're gonna line this back up to the 12 o'clock position. Clock spring at 12 o'clock, it's fitting. And when we put this in, this little notch, and that little dot, that is always at the 12 o'clock position. So we made sure we didn't move the steering wheel when we uh, did all this work. Uh, so steering wheel is up, cock spring is up, and this little notch right here, there's a little flat spot right there. That flat spot, if you can see it, coincides with the flat spot where the dot is. So we'll just slide it on and wiggle it in. We'll pass through our pertinent wires. Line her up. And wiggle her on. That's it. All there is to it. There we go. That's nice and installed. Now a lot of people like to mark this spot with like, uh, I don't know, a paint marker at the 12 o'clock to make sure everything's lined up. But we got our our flat spot and our dot, so it's kind of self-explanatory, but you can do it if you want to. All right, got our 13 millimeter back in. We'll hand thread it so we don't strip it. You definitely don't want to strip your steering column. I'm gonna zap it in. Now we'll plug everything back into the clock spring, just like that. There we go. Just gotta get our airbag. All right, got our airbag. Now we'll plug it in. Black goes into the black. 
Yellow goes into the yellow. Easy peasy. Make sure our wires are not in the way of anything. We got one, two, three little tabs that match up to these metal hooks, the same ones we pried off. So we'll line them up. Just get the airbag centered in the wheel and push. That's it. Simple as that. Toot toot. <laughs> All right. Steering wheel is in. Looking beautiful. I'm so excited. I love that steering wheel. But we got to plug this baby in. We'll hook up the battery. We'll make sure it doesn't blow up in our face. Because uh, that will be bad. And we don't want to get hit in the face with an airbag. So here we go. Contact. <laughs> All right. Didn't explode. So far, so good. Tighten it on. There we go. Come back here. Take a little look. Beautiful. There we go. Power it up. Give it a little start. All right. That's awesome. All right, guys, there we go. That is how you remove and restore a Jeep Commander steering wheel. So, yeah, man, I love the way that looks. The black, I thought, might have been a little too aggressive, but it matches the rest of the black on the center console. And the uh, dark A-gate color still matches the rest of everything else. Uh, the airbag color matches the, the dashboard, and I like it. Good contrast, better than a cracked and faded steering wheel. And now we have an Overland steering wheel on our Overland. And uh, yeah, it's black though, instead of tan. So I'm loving it. All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope you had a good time. So remember to like and subscribe, share this video, and I will catch you guys on the next project. Peace. Peace. <laughs>